Hey guys, what's going on? It's Summit Snake here from SummitSnake.com, bringing you guys another Windows 7 tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you guys how to remove or restore the Windows 7 shortcut arrow overlay icon. Now this video tutorial was requested, um, and if you're watching this, you know who you are. Uh, I just forgot your name right now, but just leave a comment so I can link your channel into the YouTube description. Other than that, um, but, but yeah, this will show you how to remove or restore the Windows 7 shortcut arrow over an icon and what I mean by that is this let me go to view show desktop icons and yes as you can tell I have cleaned out my computer and uh, reinstalled Windows 7 again just cuz it's a long reason but anyway um, as you can tell right here we have the shortcut arrows basically he wanted to know how to remove them so uh, that's what I'm going to teach you today so there's two ways you can remove them but the way I'm going to show you is a lot simpler and um, a lot more convenient. Uh, it's basically a program, no worries, this is free, and yes, it will work for Windows Vista like almost every single of my tutorials do. Um, and I cannot stand this pop-up, freaking Microsoft. Anyway, let me go ahead and give you the guys link. It will be in the description box. So once you get here, you'll come to this page, Vista Shortcut Overlay Remover 2.0, and it's a free download. Just click one of these uh, mirrors here, and uh, you can just start downloading it. I already have it, so once you done downloading it, it will be it should be on your desktop. So um, let, let's just go ahead and do it right now. So just double click on the program. Uh, UAC will come up if you have it on, which I still have to disable that since I had to reinstall everything. Uh, all right, so here you go. Vista shortcut overlay manager window will come up, and here's the program. Basically, we have four options here. We can either have the arrow as it is normal way we can have it as a light arrow we can as a, have it as a custom arrow or we can have it as no arrow now uh, based on his tutorial request he basically said let's have it no arrow so I'm going to show you the no arrow way so yeah just go ahead and select the what um, the options you two want and here's another option that's optional for you guys you can either select here to remove the shortcut extension when new sh shortcuts are created um, I don't check that just because it's it will be kind of hard to tell which programs are shortcuts and which are not. So that's that's up to you guys. But anyway, once you select which arrow you want, just go ahead and press apply. Now, this message will come up. Now, your settings, ha it says your settings have been saved. Now, what you have to do, you have to log off and log back on in, for, to, in order for these changes to take effect. So, would you like to log off now? I'm going to press no because I have to stop the video and save it. So, I'll be right back. All right, guys. I am back, and as you can tell, the shortcuts are the shortcut error, I should say, is removed. And now, just before I close this tutorial and this tutorial up, I want to bring you back and set this program. And hang on, the USC just popped up. All right, there we go. Now, if you choose a custom arrow option, this um, I totally forgot to mention this. Um, once you select this, uh, you can then select uh, a custom ICO file. ICO stands for an icon files that you have downloaded to use. So. If you have a custom ICO uh, image or file that you want to use, that's where you're supposed to click. You're supposed to go custom arrow, you hit apply, and wait, actually, no, I'm sorry, custom arrow, you hit select, and then you just basically have to browse the, um, the .ico file that you want to use. Uh, so that's just a quick tip right there. Other than that, I'm SummerMeetSnake from SummerMeetSnake.com. Please rate it, like it now, because I don't know why YouTube had to change its layout, but can't stand it so yeah instead of rating it's called a like it or dislike it belief just go ahead and like the video and uh comment subscribe do all the things you want to do and um thanks for your support and i'll see you guys later adios